Are you surprised that the Celtics came back in this series? Not at all. I thought they were the better team, and this series uh, really showed two things. Number one, Milwaukee needed Chris Middleton. Their half-court offense was terrible in this series, and they were going against the best defense, not only in the regular season, but in the playoffs. 80 points per 100 possessions in the half-court. So much was on Giannis's shoulder in this series, and they couldn't get anyone to, to have offensive output at an efficient level. Drew Holland did not have a good series. This was all on Giannis's shoulder. They needed Middleton. The second thing is Milwaukee's defense. I don't understand the strategy of allowing Grant Williams, a 41% shooter in the regular season, a 41% shooter from three in the playoffs, to have 17 standstill looks. I'm not including the 18th one because it was a bad catch and he threw it up at the end of the shot clock. 17 line you up, practice shots, nine feet away, average distance closer to the closest defender when he caught the ball. That is ridiculous. I understand why. Why? Because they were still trying to recover from what Jason Tatum did to them in game six. They didn't even that's close the, out, though. I, I'm saying, that's what the hell happened. You had Budenholzer so petrified that Jason Tatum right. get going that he sat up there in game plan and said, listen, make sure he don't da- he don't shoot, damn it. We'll work out everything else. Let's make sure, let, let anybody shoot but him. And they was scared, he scared the living hell out of them because of what he did in game six in Milwaukee, mm-hmm. and they were punch drunk from it, yeah. and they didn't recover. They even put We've two, seen it a lot. They even put two on the ball with Petrick. If you see some of the highlights, they literally Literally putting two on the ball with the, the, the guy Petrie. I'm, if I'm a yeah, coach, Pritchard, yeah. Pritchard, Pritchard, Pritchard. Okay, how you say his name? Petrie, Pritchard, <laughs> Richard. I don't care. I was like, who is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they put <laughs> two. On, they put they put the two on the ball with him. Right. Like, come on, man. What, what type of defense can sustain that yeah. throughout the whole game? No question. But this was their defense all year. This was their defense all year. They're going to give up a ton of three pointers. I, I I I get your point about the overreaction, but. Bud has never overreacted in the playoffs. He said, this is how we're going to guard, and we're going to guard this way, and we're going to do our system over and over again. Right. And we're going to rely on Wes Matthews and Drew Holiday to make it tough on Tatum. Yes. Okay. And they had some success in this series. Okay. Game five, they had success. Game one, they had success. Well, there's a couple of things. So it's, I, don't, I don't buy the overreaction. It's, it's, this is just how they you guard. You say you don't have to buy it. I'm I don't buy it. it. Damn it. That's what I'm doing. I don't That's buy number it. one. Number two, they did shoot 433 from three-point range. Let's not forget that. Let's not forget the fact that Grayson Allen had no business on the court. He was a disaster in this series. Let's not forget that. Let's not forget the fact that Bobby Portis didn't have a good game yesterday either. They Who the had... first person you named? No, Grayson Allen was filling. Who? No, let me finish. Man, stop. Why are you naming these people on your show? Because they get no play in our no, locker room I, in the NBA. I, no, I was pointing out that they didn't produce. They didn't produce. Duh. Giannis, <laughs> but, but wait a minute. Giannis kept kicking the ball to him. The fact of the matter is they, 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 they had no choice because Middleton wasn't there. Yeah. Drew Holiday. Did not have an effect. Oh, Can I mention six. him? You gonna over tell me not six. to mention him? He had, he had to okay. take all this energy and, 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 okay. and guard. Okay, I, I understand that. I'm not, I'm not faulting him. I'm just saying what happened. The point is, I'm just main, naming a multitude of players who, who had this. Who we gonna name next? I'm, I'm just talking. West anybody, Matthew. Who anybody, anybody, who gonna name anybody, next? anybody, anybody that who we gonna honest, name next? Anybody that the Greek freak was kicking the ball to, who were wide open and missing shots. I got a question for you. If you're the Milwaukee Bucks, Milwaukee Bucks. If I'm last Milwaukee summer, Bucks. coming yeah. off a championship. Would you be willing to give P.J. Tucker two years, $15 million? Yes, I would. Yes. Like the Miami Easy. Heat did? Without question. Easy. This this series, to me, speaks to them not bringing him back. Because they step. had to play big. They so, had to play so big. So they didn't have they, him on the floor. So, they don't have any wing depth because Middleton's out. Drew's exhausted. They've got Lopez guarding shooters on the perimeter. Them not bringing P.J. Tucker back was going to bite them at some point. Absolutely, and it bit him in the series. So when you say them, so that's because because sometimes y'all like to say words that sometimes our viewers don't understand. The, the front office, the team. There we go. Let's say that. Let's just say. Let's just say. Okay, so yeah, if the front office would have did their job, basically what you're saying, and brought the defensive player and, and, and PJ Tucker back, they would have had a chance. Yeah, it would have helped. Okay, well, it would have helped. That, I'm not yeah. saying he would have solved their half court issues, but some of this, this. Uh, sort of lack of versatility defensively, wing depth, having to have Drew Holiday take on a bigger role on offense and having to guard Tatum or Brown, plus having Lopez Portis on the floor at the same time. Like, you can go small with with P.J. Tucker. Grant Williams maybe doesn't get those threes in a game seven. That's all I'm saying. I appreciate the breakdown. We all know. They should have never let go. Yeah. BJ Tucker. We said that when they did. Pay them. When they did pay the man. Pay them. We said it automatically. Pay it was em. a stupid decision, especially when you just won the chip. Pay you em. just won the chip. And, and part of it was, listen, regardless of the numbers KD put up, for example, you saw how PJ Tucker was going against, how much he made him work. You can't minimize that. You don't let go of somebody like that. That's what they did, which is why I brought up Grayson Allen. That was one of the reasons they let him go. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.